see all the high spots. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but we have this plane that we uh, we use. Just a good flat piece of wood with a heavy duty paper around here. And it does a very good job of leveling this. We got some here, here, here. It's not too bad. Over here we got some. This is what we do. If this, we don't want this to rock on here. Because these are the pieces we're going to actually be gluing on here. They are very, very flat. They are like machine precision flat. It's just amazing wood. And these are going to be glued here like this. So we have to make sure it fits well. We don't want any gaps rocking. These have to be actually fit to the face here because this surface swoops away and kind of has a dish to it from about here. Uh, right there, see? It starts to curve in. But from here to the end, it's pretty flat. Straight from here to here. We're almost there. But this assures, makes this assurance that this is flat in here. So that these these pieces fit with no gaps or you know gaps. Have to level it from here to here. true surface doesn't rock perfectly flat from there to there without any bumps or dips and I'm gonna continue I have some more to do here get rid of these we're almost there we got a little thing to deal with here just gonna smoothen this out like so right up to there then we got to chalk fit some of these pieces not too many good thing these are hard wood okay Okay, there's the screw we broke off here. Cut this off trying to get this out. We had to cut it from below. And this was extracted from the, the rim of the piano. Here's our replacement screws. One for each side here. And uh, it's pretty long. This one is cleaned up. It's just the right size. It goes in deep. We don't want that one breaking off. But uh, luckily, we have all these old screws around here that we can choose. There, old piano screws. Now, this is going to secure this corner right where it should be. It's in line with the dirt mark here. There was a finish mark here. We keep those there on purpose. I mean, that's an indication that we got this right in the right spot. See, this is. When we glue this pin block in, well this part, this portion of the pin block is glued in first. Then we put the cap on top. That's all sandwiched in between, which makes it very difficult place to reach if you have to take it out. And there's one of these on each side, of course. One goes there where that drill bit is. So now we're going to fit our pieces on top here. And uh, We'll see. These have to go in here. Our new pieces. So we'll uh, get to that. Okay. This is the base. Double pin block, I call it. Seems like there's one on top and one on the bottom. Three layers. And we have that base made and in the piano here. And it took some doing, but uh, we had to fit this space to there all the way down and it's not a very very smooth casting I'll say this is pretty rough in here <coughs> and we have our screw in place that holds this in and these screws are in I broke two of them off here it's not very nice is it 
but we're not going to be using these screws. We're going to be replacing them, and you will see later. And now we got this fit. The slope is correct. Height is right. And here. And now I have to fit these to that plate. And I think I'll start down here. This seems like the most difficult area to fit these blocks in here. Luckily I could just take a, a scribe from this profile and make a line on here, which we'll see in a minute. I'm going to spit that there like that and slide it right in. It's critical that it be fit tight and we will see. Hmm. I did decide to go that way. And here's our first cutout for our pieces here. I had these laid out before, weeks ago, in order, in order to have enough material in the right direction so I can piece them together to make all those broken pieces there. And number six, ah, this is going to be good here. I just already fit that like that. Place this here like so. And we can take our broken piece here, see? The broken piece is perfect for duplication. My God, it's beautiful. So we're going to put that right here. Right there. And we can get our edging. Don't have to do anything with that. And then we'll place this on here like this. So I can get pretty good profile. Pretty good bandsaw cut here. Pretty close to here. We'll do the profile later. This is a rough end. But I have enough material to go all the way up to here. Halfway one of these pins will run the seam in the, in the middle here. So let's do it. We'll cut this cut this blank out first. Ah, pretty easy, huh? Got it right here in front of us. Little pieces. Lots of little pieces. This is what we got to do. Now I have my base here. This whole bottom part here. The base. And this needs to have these glued on top. That's our cross band here. This way. That goes this way. In fact, that one goes there. This one goes here. This one goes here. Try to make the grooves go in the middle of things. Anyways, um, and now I'm up to here. Number three. This is the hardest, hardest place to do this. For one, the face is beveled. This is square. This is at an angle. So these pieces must fit there. This is how I'm fitting them, one at a time, because it's a difficult area. They must fit tight, this face, against this cast iron here. This surface is irregular. It's got dents and ir irregular faces, and to get these to fit there as perfectly as you can is, is, is a, a tedious thing to do here. So this is what I did. I got these two, and what I did, I took number three. And what we got to do is we chalk the face a little bit here, like so. And the chalk doesn't stick very well to the cast iron. We must first coat it with this. I learned this the hard way. Pick a cast iron and put this stuff on here, this uh, ink, and it gives the cast iron a texture for the chalk to stick to here. And this is all messy. We're going to clean this up. Anyways, we take this chalk, this pool cube, pool room chalk. And we chalk the surface, but if you don't do this, it doesn't stick to the cast iron. 
But if you do this, it just sticks so wonderfully. Oh boy, it's a wonderful discovery. Because you don't want to do this with any liquid. No graphite, none of that stuff. So here we go. One, two is fit. Now I just chalked it, see? This face has to be... You have to remove wood here and there. You can see it's at an angle. The bevel changes as you go down. It's very... It's kind of crude. But anyway, put this here like so. Slide it into place. And we give it a good tap. I'm fitting it this way also, so it doesn't rock. Any high spots in here, I tape down so this piece fits. See, it's still rocking a little bit. We'll, be, we'll take care. That's not too bad. But anyways, we have to imprint the face, so we move this like so. And there we have it. Now, I've been fitting this already. And as you can see, the, the chalk indicates the areas where I have to take down. And this is how you take it down with a chisel, like so. Scrape all the blue off, like so, over here, over here. And I'm just doing this for a demonstration. Um, you take more wood off than that, and you hold on to this more tightly, but only where the blue touches. So, you have to reset this. Make sure we got some stuff on here to make an impress. That's where it's going to be. We'll slide it down into place. We're going to be gluing these in pretty soon. And then we tap it, tap it, and tap it here to slide it into the into our surface to make the imprint. Like that. You see how it moved a little bit. Slid sideways and it makes a good... That's a good imprint. You can go crazy on this. Spend a week on this. But I already spent an hour shaping this, cutting it. And by the time you get over here, you're much faster than the first one. So I'm going quicker as it goes. And it's not as difficult over here. It's, it's not so angled. Anyways, see so here we just take scrape this off like so. Right there. Got to take some wood off. Just can't scrape the coloring off. There we go. And a uh, little bit here. But that's how it's done. And then we put it back. A little chalk. Make sure we got a good chalk because you waste your time if you don't. And there we go, like so. One, two, three. And give that a good a good hit there. Yeah, see that's good. That that really is. It's touching all the way most of the surface. So we're gonna got three of them made. Well, I'm going to make the fourth one. It's got to go under here, like this. Uh, where is it? Uh, oh, here's number five. It goes like this. See that line? That hole right there goes in here. So I got to make it. I'm going to come in from this way and come in from this way because that's what I'm going to do. This was one piece before. Boy, that must have been a big tree. I'll tell you, there was this, there's, there's a seam there, but I think I glued that back there. We were looking at that in one of the other videos. You can see the grain. It's a giant tree that came out of it. Hard rock, rock maple. So we're going to make it. I'm going to take this one out now and make this one so I can slide it under there and fit this way. Tight under this. As you can see where that touched there. Right there. And once, uh, once these are glued on, and I put my top veneer on here, then this whole assembly won't be glued in yet. We're going to take this out, drill it on the, pin, on, the, on the drill press, and then we'll glue it in. And then we'll put this top piece on after it's strung up. This is going to be in here. This is going to be in here. The holes will be drilled. The tuning pins will be in. And then we'll glue this whole piece this top piece on here. So there we have it. Okay, I found the piece that I was going to use for number three. I decided to not use it because it wasn't there quite the right thickness for here. But over here it seems to be the plate gets a little thinner here. So I'm going to follow this. 
We're going to machine this off here. From here to here. See, it's got to go to zero right here. This is the spot that we have to taper this up to, like so. so maybe I can just use this thing here. It's got to be tapered to zero like that. Uh, well, it can take a lot off here with a bandsaw. Right up to here. Like so. Cut that off first. I'm going to start to slide this under here. As far as I can go. It might go all the way through. I don't think so. Hmm, it might have to come from this side. It could be tough. Hmm. Well, my intention is to only go halfway. Well, we'll see. Hmm. Okay, so we got to cut, trim this from here. Somewhere in here, like so. It's got to be planed off to fit underneath there. Huh. Okay, we'll get busy on that. Pin block. Huh. Okay. Getting our little wafers set here. Gotta do the one that goes under here. We gotta go under here, like number five. Let's see. And come into it from this way. So, chisel it away. Out there. Let's go to here. Really good. Okay, we got the angle right. Right there. That's good. This has to piece, have a piece of veneer on here, like we said. Oh, and number three. Here. So we're going to draw a line here. Cut this piece. So, then we'll fit them in. Okay. Alright, we got all our pieces fit. These fit pretty good. This piece is fit under here pretty tight. pretty good. You can always refit it here a little bit more. this section in now, glue it right here, and then uh, continue on, do the other section. So there we have it for now. Okay, I get to glue my first piece in here, and the meticulous, ridiculous fit pieces here. What we do is you take a candle here and you rub this here like so, so it doesn't stick. Because I'm going to leave it in here until, it, uh, until it's time to take the pin block out. And we don't really want to glue everything in place here now, do we? Because the glue does have a tendency to glue everything to the steel. Not too hard though, but it does. We we'll put a little wax there to prevent this from happening. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. There we go. Push this here. So. 
nice fit. Everything is ready to go here. We got this, we got this, we got this. And we have this. Put it at an angle so it drives everything into the pin block and into that direction. Just a natural slope down will drive it into the cast iron here. That's beautiful, just like that. See? Oh, that's good. Not have to be too hard. Just enough to squeeze the glue out everywhere. And it isn't. Is the glue. Oh, I had this too high up. It has to be right there. Right spot. There we go. That's better. That's better. Very nice. Squeeze the good. Wash the glue. Okay, gluing pin block parts in here. And this piece is glued in. We glued that in yesterday. That piece there. And you can see this is what it looks like after it's fit and planed. Level it to this. This is the original here. So that's what we're going by. So now I'm going to put in number two. After which, number four here, we're going to have to slide it under the plate here, like so. And then put in number three. Like so. So right now we're going to glue in number two. And then uh, put these two in at the same time. I have to tighten them from this side. You can push them over tight like that so they fit good. Anyways, this is what they look like and we're, uh, we're on our way to pin block completion.